the next um, topic that I would like to talk, well, I would like to read, um, it's, uh, oh my god, where is it, it's blood, liver blood stain test, because um, we're having a test the next day and on Tuesday, yeah, we're having a test on Tuesday and we have to learn about a few things in liver blood deficiency and liver blood stagnation or liver blood stasis and a lot of people could say that and so the liver um, blood stasis um, has um, some kind of Clinical manifestation, clinical manifestation. So, the hypochondrial pain, abdominal pain, vomiting of blood, epistaxis, um, pain, painful period, so PMS, probably one of them, irregular periods, menstrual blood, dark, and clotted infertility, uh, masses in abdomen. Purple nails, purple lips, purple or dark complexion, dry skin in severe cases, and purple petechi. Is that how you say it? I have no idea how to say this. But um, basically, so the tongue is purple, especially or only on the side. Size in severe cases will be a there's going to be purple spots on the sides. I'm going to stick out my tongue again and show you what that is. See all those uh, purple, purple, reddish blood spots like strawberry purples? Hmm. That's a liver blood stasis. And dark and clots, um, clotted menstrual blood and purple tongue. So the water, the, the the pulse is also wiry and firm. So the etiology is blood stasis does not have direct uh, etiological factor as it is a pathogen that develops from other pathogenic conditions, chief, chiefly cheese stagnation, cold or heat, and the most common cause of liver chi liver blood stasis is liver chi stagnation. Therefore, the etiology cool factors lead to liver chi stagnation may be in the long run lead to liver blood stasis. Patho patholo pathology pathological pathology, and this pattern is often derived from uh, that of the second stagnation of liver chi when she stagnates uh, in the long run, it leads to uh, triple stasis, and the liver stores blood and is particularly affected by stasis of blood. When liver blood stagnates, the blood in the directing and pen, so I guess yin and chong vessels, yin, yin mai and chong mai vessel, um, will also stagnate and affect the menstrual function. The chief manifestation stasis of blood in the uterus is dark and clotted uh, menstrual blood and painful periods. Blood stagnate stasis blood stasis leads to pain and just as um, this tension is the chief complaint of chi stagnation, pain is the is the chief complaint, chief symptoms for blood stasis and clinical manifest in, in the real clinic, blood stasis frequently causes a severe pain and blood stasis may occur without pain but a severe stabbing pain always indicates blood stasis. Um, stasis of blood of the liver may cause pain to not only during or before the period, but also in general in the abdomen. At other times, it affects men too. The pain from the stasis of blood is 
usually fixed in one place and it's boring or stabbing in character and this is this may also be accompanied by a swelling or a mass in the abdomen that is fixed stagnation of chi can also manifest with the abdominal masses that comes and goes so vomiting of blood and epistaxis are caused by stasis of blood in the liver channel the liver manifested on the nail so the purple color reflects the stasis of blood in the liver general stasis of blood also causes purple lips and complexion so I, I don't have a purple complexion so <laughs> that's good I don't have the severe cases so in severe cases stagnant uh, blood obstructs the circulation of fluid due to the interchange between body fluids or in the blood and the skin becomes dry and this petty I don't know how to say this. So it's like a purple color of a purple color are due to bleeding under the skin caused by blood stasis in the blood connecting uh, vessel. And the purple color of the tongue body reflects the stasis of blood. In severe cases, there will also be purplish on the side. Excuse me. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I have so whenever I'm like filming or nervous or whatever, I just get a running nose. See, that's what I was talking about. Um, my sh my um dampness. Also the same when I'm just nervous. Even even when I'm just um filming. <laughs> I mean that's crazy, isn't it? So the purple color of the tongue body reflects stasis of blood. In severe cases, it will be purplish spots, usually on the sides. And the form pulse is typical of blood stasis. And blood stasis is a very important pathology in practice because it potentially leads to serious disease. By contrast, cheap donation by itself cannot lead to serious disease. For example, coronary heart disease, stroke, and cancer are all characterized by the presence of blood stasis and of course in addition to other diseases um, patterns so pathological precursors of the pattern so liver blood stasis always derives from other other patterns and liver blood stasis may derive from the following patterns there's um, chi stagnation, cold heat, chi deficiency, blood deficiency, phlegm. The first of three patterns, which is chi stagnation, cold, and heat, are, um, are the most common for, um, precursors of liver blood stasis. Chi stagnation is probably the most common um, precursor of blood stasis, and chi is the commander of blood. When chi moves, blood moves. Conversely, when she stagnates, blood stagnate, stagnates. So cold also frequently lead to blood stasis as it congeals blood. Cold is a frequent cause of blood stasis in the uterus. So in Chinese culture, we are told that we're not allowed to drink cold icy water or eat ice cream during our period. Should be before, but I find myself being drawn to cold drinks right before my period so when i'm like you know having a, a, a crazy craving for ice cream like oh that's that's gonna be my period soon <laughs> um i'll stop here because my uh 10 minutes is about to end